Hey and welcome to High 45, a discussion about this week's tech and world news leading towards a singularity. I'm Tristan Graves. I'm Nathan Waters. And I nearly screwed that intro. That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> this is High 45, episode 26, I think. I don't know. It's a bit later than that. Okay, a bit later. <laughs> 27, 28, 29, 30. Cool, what do we got? Uh, this week, I've actually got quite a few good ones actually. Uh, we have got something where we were wrong. Uh, Google Wave, they have just closed doors. That's very sad. Oh. Uh, mind control artificial arms. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah. And I have got the uh, the next big thing, uh, the future of check-ins. Sweet. Mm. Um, Bill Gates on education, and that's going to be our, our singularity topic singularity this week, topic. I guess. Which Sweet. Is, yeah, where the future of the education is going and all that. It sounds good. And then, uh, uh, did you have a last oh one? Oh yeah, and uh, this cool like DJ sort of touchscreen emulator thing. That was yeah. As, as pretty awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, shall I start off with uh, the Google Wave one? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, there's not really much to say with the Google Wave thing, unfortunately. It's, uh, yeah, they've uh, closed doors. They've, they've uh, closed up shop. And uh, this is the, the big revolutionary technology. Like, um, I remember doing one of these uh, yeah. earlier episodes before saying about how incredible Google Wave was and all of the possibilities that it had and all the amazing things, but uh, they've just now got an official uh, announcement saying that, yeah, they're not going to continue support for it. So it's this essentially sucks, dead. Though. This yeah. really sucks. It is a pity. It really is. Hey, they were gonna be like the, that. Was like the start of the real time web. The real time web. It if they were really a platform, pushing it. If, yeah. if, if they there were so many mistakes they made with this. Yeah. Uh, I mean, twenty twenty vision, of course. I mean, we didn't predict <laughs> it at the time, but. I mean, the the UI, the no backwards compatibility. Yeah. There was um, no reason to use it. That was yeah, it. The, 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 the chicken and chicken and egg thing. Yeah. Like, well, that's why I said, like, they can save it right now if they're integrating with Gmail. Yeah, like, I, w I would I love using, using, like, you know, Google Gmail. Wave and then just having, a, oh, I could connect with older people, like, you know, Hotmail and yeah. Gmail and Yahoo Mail and all of that, just however I wanted. But then anyone who was using Wave as well, we'd get instant back and forth. That would, yeah. I'd say, hey, dude, although that's great you have that email, get a Wave account. We can do it back and forth. Maybe a Wave great. account, just use your actual Gmail account right now. Oh, yeah. Even and that, just, well, just in any email, have a single button that says, use Wave. Yeah, you hit that, and then you can integrate with. You can you do real time back and forth communication. With Ch all change the your Gmail to it. Yeah, well, even That's, this thing yeah. at the top, like, you know, have to have calendar and have all of the other things. Like have another thing there, just doing wave. Because yeah. I mean, the amount of integration I had with it, it, it was good. I mean, their technology was really good. And well, they better use the technology somewhere. It's they must. Such a waste just to piss it off. Absolutely it's... fantastic real time stuff. I mean, uh, what we were talking about before, like, mm. you know, the platform for allowing other people to build, like, you know, especially social things where everyone could actually just jump on and create all of these yeah. great things in real time. Oh. And yeah. <laughs> yeah it's dead. Yeah. Uh, well. yeah. It's okay. <laughs> the technology will stay around. I mean, it, it's, it's going to have to go to real time web, but it's, uh, this is a big step back for the real time web, I think. Yeah. Well, Again, yeah. It's, it's still in Twitter's hands at this point, which yeah. is sad. Yeah, and even it? that, like, Twitter isn't really that real-time. You still have to hit refresh or show new tweets yeah. or something. Well, I guess Facebook's been integrated. Like, they're real-time mm. now. You get notifications when you mm, see them. It just that. pops up, yeah. Yeah. Although I still don't trust it. Like, it's not... I still, I'll still, like, refresh it every now and then. There'll be new mm. notifications there that you didn't notice. It'd mm, be good to yeah. see. But, yeah. Anyway, so, uh, the first uh, definite on. thing when, uh, yeah, we weren't right. Do you think that'll happen with their next... Well, see, I'm not sure. There, there, there will be a few things here. I mean, they're, they're doing, yeah, as we mentioned mention now, but they're doing the whole uh, Facebook competitor again. Mm, Google all me. All buzz around, like... And Google buzz around. No. <laughs> but no one's buzzing. No one's buzzing. All the guys actually Google are. Actually, there's a few people that use buzz, but anyway. Mm. And we'll see what yeah. Google me does. We'll have to do a thing on that later on. Yeah. See what happens. Okay, this is the probably the big sort of high-tech, you know story this week is uh, mind control artificial arm begins the first human testing so you know the whole Star Wars you know Luke Skywalker with his arm yeah but it's here now um, yes. well at least it's going into testing now uh, it's a joint project between the Pentagon and John Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory uh, they got funding from uh, DARPA now uh, yeah from DARPA no a, a, a contract with DARPA apparently okay for other prosthesis but yeah, this is a, actually a limb where you just control it with your brain. Like it has a brain implant that then hooks up to the limb, and it's you, an actual you brain implant. Yeah, and you actually control it with your brain. Wow, and it's okay. going to be human trials right now. So <laughs> this is amazing. I mean, if you can do this with arms, you can do it with legs, you can do it with pretty much any 
you know, yeah. limb, any body well, part. They can actually, do, uh, the brain implant is what I'm like very excited about. I didn't, I thought it was just like another robotic arm, well, not uh. just another one, but I mean, a robotic arm, but the brain implant, I mean, mm, that's where it gets fun. Yeah, they surgically implant a micro array. But they've done that for they've they've got uh, they've already got brain implants that help uh, cure some of the the issues of uh, Parkinson's, yeah, and a bunch of other things like, and, <laughs> and the beauty of this is everyone's doing this research and getting funding for it for uh, medical reasons for like obviously like helping out people who've lost limbs and mm. you know disabled people, but it's only like maybe a decade after that where it's going to be consumer devices. Yeah. Oh, and. It's well, you've already got. You've already started. You get the consumer brain control devices now. Brilliant. Like they're primitive. You can only do. You can actually functions. buy those things that actually go on your head and go yeah. and read what you're doing. There was a toy. Did you see the Star Wars toy where yeah. you, you you were like a Jedi mind thing? You had to put it on your head and it read um, your mind uh, how how much processing you were using. Yeah, but that's, that's just yeah. Well, it's basic, but it's still it's a consumer item yeah. reading your mind. Well, there's the emotive one, which is the Australian company. Yeah, yeah, they got their <laughs> thing on your brain. So yeah, this is only just gonna get better and better. Like we're we're really starting starting to hit those exponentials now. Mm, <laughs> this is fun. Like, uh, yeah. You know what we should have as a singularity topic? Uh, the, the concept of the expon exponentials. Because I've been thinking a lot about that actually. That I, I like the, uh, the the one we're doing now for that. I think it'll be great. But um, maybe next week. I like exponentials. I think that could be kind of cool. But uh, we don't. Do our viewers already know that? No, no. I, I, I've I've got a few ideas. Just everything's becoming exponential now. The idea of okay. platforms so it could be kind of cool. Okay. But well, with this as well, uh, talking along that line, actually, it's something that I found interesting. Um, I think I was reading through, uh, uh, I think it was Mark Zuckerberg or something, talking about Facebook, what he yeah. considered with his platform, saying that he never actually considered the idea of games and how big that would be. And it was apparently yeah. the exact same thing with computers, that everyone was like, oh, yeah, computers could like solve all of these world's problems and do all of that. Except a lot of the main thing was used for games, and it probably will be the same thing with the, the brain interface as well, that you think about that you can use, yeah, you could use yeah. limbs, you could do all of that, but... I mean, a lot of people, like, can especially consumer devices, we want games, we want some fun with it. Yeah. And porn. Actually, uh, there was just another announcement, I think, I think it was Nokia, actually, have come out with a brain, sort of, I'm guessing, some sort of device that just sits in your head that allows you to call people with your brain. Oh, wow. Like, so, uh, they're mainly, again, developing it for disabled people who yeah, don't yeah. have motor neuron sort of control. Um, yeah. So you can just call your mate by saying, you know, thinking, I want to That's call cool. my mate. It'll be like this, yeah. the voice recognition that was so crap for like about 10 years, but now mm. it's actually gotten to the point where, you know, you browse yeah. your iPhone with voice and stuff. It's, it's pretty yeah, sweet. It's near perfect. Like, yeah. and every time you do it, Google's alert. Yes. Google is <laughs> leeching off us. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. What oh. You got? My next big thing, uh, and this is a big thing actually, it's, um, the future of check-ins. And I uh, did a bit of research on this, just looked around, and uh, there's these three big companies actually at the moment that are going on about uh, the, the idea of check-ins. And check-ins, if you're not sure, um, Foursquare really popularized the concept. It's geolocation. Uh, well, yeah, it was geolocation. Essentially, when you went somewhere, you hit a button and you said, I'm here. But I guess that the check-in is just saying, hitting a button and saying you're doing this, and which is what all of these sites are doing, these big three ones, which are Philo, uh, Miso and Get Glue. So, you know, very web, very web 2.0 names, but uh, they're all pretty cool. And they're, they're based around the idea of uh, what content you're viewing, like TV shows and stuff. And especially, I think it's Philo, what you actually do is you have to actually put in a United States zip code. So, uh, the, I did the only United States zip code that I know, 90210. <laughs> and apparently, I'm in Beverly Hills, California, and it showed me all of the shows that are actually playing on the cable thing at the moment and you check in and you're saying you're watching this and you talk with people about it. Oh. Mm, it's really cool. Same with Miso. What you do is you actually type in what you're watching, but what they have on the side is they show all of the big shows that are playing at the moment. So there's True Blood, there's Mad Men, there's Leverage, all of the big ones and an NFL. And so what you do is you say, I'm watching this and you talk with people in a real time stream. Really, really cool. But the greatest one that I've actually seen here is Get Glue. Get Glue, I, for some reason, it seems a lot more polished and there seems to be a lot more people in there. It's, it is still doing very much on the, uh, you know, uh, TV show and movies and stuff. That's what I've heard from these guys before. They're, um, they're semantically operated somehow. Right. Okay, cool. They use well, a semantic web sort of markup. That explains it a bit. Yeah. Like, I, I did actually, just when I was researching for this right here, I said um, I could actually check in and I said uh, it, there was an option to actually say, I'm thinking about, like you go just check in. And you can pick all these things. And I said, I'm thinking about a topic. The topic I said I was thinking about was the singularity. I hit that and it popped it up and it said all of these other people who were thinking about the singularity recently. 
Sweet. And I thought that was really cool. And so, I mean, if I had to actually place like, you know, a, a bet behind any of it, I think Get Glue is doing really well here. But I mean, the amazing thing between these three is that the check-in system, which is the most basic thing possible is you hit a button when you're doing something, yeah. is really taking off. Like, really, yeah. really taking off.